Okay, we're ready to start coding this. So once again, I've got a movie clip right here that's going to flash loading. I go up here to my actions layer, put a blank keyframe, and what I'm going to do here is on this frame, I'm going to open up my action script window and I'm going to code it out. First thing I'm going to do is stop my movie. So I'm going to stop my movie. Okay. And then I'll say, let's see here, if open and close parentheses, open curly brace, two lines down, close curly brace. That is the correct format for an if statement. So I'll say if, right, frames and then capital L loaded, the whole thing should turn blue. Okay. Equal equals, which is a test, testing equality. If frames loaded, equal equals, and then I'm going to put in however many frames are in my movie. In my movie, I have, let's see here, up to here, which I think is 114 frames. Yep, there it is, 114 frames. So what I'll do is go back to the first frame, highlight that A, go back here. If frames loaded equals 114, right? If that's true, then go to capital A and capital P play whatever the beginning of my site is, which would in this case would be frame 10. So I'll say go to and play 10. Right? Oops. And I'll put a semicolon. Right? And then at the end, after my closing curly brace, I'll say else. So this is else. Open curly brace, two lines down, backspace, close curly brace. Else, go to and play one. So if the movie has loaded all 114 frames, we jump to and play frame 10. Else, if not, we go back and play one. So it's basically a test. So the playhead will go here, it'll run a test, it'll say, has everything loaded? Yep, okay, great, let's jump to 10 and play. If not, go back to 1 and play and try over. And so it'll just loop here until it's loaded and we'll be all set. So let's try it out. We hit Control Enter and we just get the flashing loading sign and we never go to play. So there's a problem. It's not working. So we have to go back and look at our code. So we say OK. Alright, we stop there. If frames loaded. Oh, what if I put an underscore in front? No. How about if if frames loaded equal equals 114? There are 114 frames in my movie. Huh. All right. So let's try this out again. How about if underscore root dot frames loaded equals 114? Right. The root timeline. If the root timeline equals 114, go to and play 10. Else, go to and play 1. Okay. Control Enter. Okay, and that's not working. So we have to try something else. How about root? dot go to and play 10. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's not working. Great, I solved the problem. If, and I can probably get rid of frames loaded, root, get rid of root, get rid of root there. I said if frames loaded is greater than or equal to 114. Let's try that. Boom. We go right there. Okay. So it took a little playing with, but if frames loaded, capital L, is greater than or equal to 114, there's 114 frames in the movie. Go to and play frame 10, else go to and play 1. And that works. Okay.
and you can see that it flashes for a while on that and then goes there. Now, if you don't like the white background, and I'm not digging that white background, what I might do is click on my background layer, click on the background color, change it to a darker color that matches my site more, and then I click on the movie clip loading and change the font to white. Go back to scene one, and now it matches the color. Okay? And the movie loads, and we move on to frame 10.